Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 31st of July 2018. It's raining and thanks to the rain, we have long gun again. Just finished a meal of a couple of long guns. And I would like to just speak a little bit about the mono mealing. When you're in a, a subtropical area, there is a season of fruits. And when a season comes for a specific fruit, you start craving it. Uh, the longans, I, I want to eat a lot of them right now. I, I, when I see them, I want to eat and I can just eat a whole meal of them. At the end of the season, of the longan season, I don't want to see a longan. I'm just like fully saturated. I don't even... It's just okay. I can eat a couple, and then it's and then it's enough. But it's the same with with bananas. Now, right now, the Thai bananas, I'm completely full with those. We have a lot, so and I think it's a just natural way of the body telling you that okay, you have enough of that specific nutrient. Now it's time for for longan. You crave longan because it's long time you had them. Uh, it's a long time since you had longan, and maybe longan have some kind of nutrient your body needs and you just want to eat it and also I have like two freezers full of Nam Dog Mai mango really good mangoes and I don't really want to eat them it's just I already have like mangoes to the top neighboring land has corn for factory hope these pumpkin will grow bacon nice the white flower plants you can take the white flowers and curry them or steam them we still have a couple of mangoes hanging on the trees some of the pumpkin are quite huge when you do mono milling it's for me it's really good for my digestion it's just one type of food in in the system Digest in the same speed and everything is fine. It's the same like with watermelon. Some people mix watermelon with the other kinds of fruits or whatever. I like to take the watermelon and just eat one or two if they are small. And then it just goes through and it's nice. So mono mealing in some cases is good. Just eat one food. I could eat long gun. Then I could eat a meal of sweet potato. I don't think that's so strange. I think it's quite normal. You come to a longan tree, you eat longan. You go to a sweet potato patch, you pick up some sweet potatoes, you, eat, you cook them and eat them. You find a mango tree, you do eat all the mangoes from there. You don't... If, if, if we're going and thinking about like what's, what's natural for us, then we wouldn't say, okay, let's keep these mangoes and mix them with something else and do a strange thing, we'll just eat the mangoes because we are there. Or we would gather them and have them ripen in our hut and then we will just start eating mangoes. So many bananas on the on the trees. And I don't have space to even I'm, I'm just leaving them. We are leaving many of them on the trees right now. Very very uh, biodynamic very biodiverse because we will get different insects and birds to eat the bananas. We're serious when we say sharing is caring. These are a specific type of banana. It's not apple banana but similar. Very nice, very nice, different taste. More Cavendish. Dragon fruit. Whoa! Look at this dragon fruit. It's a cactus, cactus flower. We eat it. And this is the, the passion fruit dome. See the flashback. What are you doing, Greg? What am I, am I doing? <laughs> I'm working on a Lex project to have some passion fruit growing here so it will be very nice
where they fall down on the ground, we pick them. This one is really good. It's soft and it's firm and yellow. Delicious. And look at that. A guava. I don't really like it that much. So that's good that the flies like it. So many here on the ground. I think it's ripe. Yeah, I don't know why people eat them. <laughs> but they're fun to try, but I think some people think they have healing powers. And the rain season caused many of these new shoots to just jump up many meters. It's insane. I still believe that bamboo is the building material of the future, it's very strong, grows very fast. You just need to find the, the best way to preserve it, either with boric acid or borax or just with fire. And some purple, dark purple, red bananas, Cavendish. Very, very rare. First offspring. First time I see this uh, flower bloom, looks quite nice. And this thorny bush plant thing gets the first berries. I'm not sure what kind of berries these are, but they look nice. Looking forward to see what will come from this.